This content is for educational purposes only. What you do with this information is at your own risk. Thank you for watching. Enjoy. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a pre-made pack that I made for y'all. And in this pack, you're going to have the Sys modules, FPS locker, reverse and next, status monitor, and Sys clock. And this is an update from my previous video on this. But I decided to make a pre-made pack for y'all in hopes that it minimizes issues and helps y'all a little bit better. I also wanted to show y'all that on the screen, I am on the latest Switch version, which is right now 20.1.5 with the latest Atmosphere 1.9.1. And Tesla is working for me and all these modules, which I will be showing later on in the video. Just wanted to give y'all context of what this is about. But with that being said, let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so before we get started, you do need to have a modded switch in order for this to work. On top of that, you also need to have CFW already set up on your SD card. So if you don't have any CFW, I will have a link in the description to one of my videos that will help you out on that. It will be for the latest switch firmware 12.1.5 using the latest CFW right now, which is Atmosphere 1.9.1. After you get sorted out with the SD card, you will also need Tesla menu. And I will have a link in the description to that video as well. If you don't have Tesla menu already, because we need Tesla menu in order to access these sys modules. So there'll be a link in the description for the Tesla menu if you need that as well. Okay, so now we can go ahead and open up the SD card. And it doesn't matter how you open up the SD card as long as you're able to transfer your files successfully. In this video, I am using the Hecate SD card tools. It is very reliable and I would recommend using that. But now that we have the SD card open, we can now download this one zip file for today. And if you look in the description down below, there's gonna be several links, but one of them should say, click here to download the status monitor sysclock reverse index fps locker here uh, i didn't know what to name the zip file so i just named it like that but once you click on that link in the description it'll take you to the page where you can start the download process and then after that you can have it move to the desktop like i have it already now once you have this one zip file you can use your extracting software to extract it to the root of the sd card and that's this empty space on the beginning of your SD card. So when I extract my files, I always use 7-zip on all my videos. I highly recommend it as well. And if you wanna follow along with me with 7-zip, I'll have a download link in the description also. So with 7-zip, I'm going to open the archive and here we have the, the folder that has all the files that we need. So once you open the archive, you can double click on this and you can see all the files that we have now all we need to do is just highlight all the files and then extract them to the root of the sd card make sure they don't fall inside of any of the folders so my pc is telling me that i have destination with the same file names that's because i already have this in my sd card so if it doesn't say it for you then that's perfectly fine but if you have any older sysclock, it will most likely overwrite it. There we go. That's pretty much it. Now, all we need to do is check it out and see if it's working on our switch. So now we can go ahead and eject out of the SD card and go back on the switch. So I'll see you when I get there. Okay, so back on the switch before I access the Tesla menu again, just want to reshow you all that I am on the latest switch firmware right now, which is 20.1.5. So if I access the Tesla's menu, we have these sys modules now, or you should be able to have them now with no errors, hopefully. So we have the FPS locker. I went ahead and looked for all the most updated options for these apps or sys modules, however you want to call them. And they are working just fine for me on the latest switch firmware, 20.1.5. Well, we have FPS locker here, 2.2.0. We have reverse the next 2.1.0. Status monitor 1.1.9, and I think sys modules as well. But uh, we also have sys clock 2.0.1. And if I access the sys clock, I can enter the options to overclock if I like. And I know some people get the message saying that uh, Salty NX is not running or things like that. 
if you do get a message when you're using one of these apps, then um, I would suggest that you do a another restart to see if it'll activate, but I'm not having any issues, so hope you're not having issues either. But of course, if you are, you can leave a comment down below and I'll try and help you out as best as I can. So six o'clock is working for me. FPS locker, uh, there's no game running, so I can't do that yet. Uh, reverse NX, if you don't know what this is, but if you have any mods for like 60 FPS on your titles that you want to try this on, you would use reverse NX to trick the dock mode into thinking that it's handheld mode because that's the only way you're able to achieve 60 FPS at 480p, I believe. I don't quote me on that, but I think that's the way it works. We also have status monitor here. We can see the status of our switch as it's being used if you want to have that. And um, if you use the button combination and get out, you can have an FPS counter. And you see on the top of my screen, I my FPS is at 240. That's pretty good, actually. But um, just to get back out of it, that's pretty much it. We can go ahead and now try it out with a, a title that I have installed and see if we can achieve the 60 FPS. Okay, so for the example I'm going to be using with these sys modules, is going to be with Cuphead. And if I enter it and try and start one, just to get into the lobby, we can use the FPS locker. If it's at 30 uh, FPS, we can use FPS locker to go into that. But let's check to see where we're at right now. With the status monitor, we can go into FPS and we're at 60 already. So. <laughs> Yes, this isn't the best example, but um, I we can reduce that if we want, just to show you that the FPS locker is working. So let's go ahead and uh, change the FPS. Disable it. Oh, it's already disabled. So let's go to 30, see if, if that's the case. So now we're at 30 FPS, and let's see if that changed. So there we go. You see the top left? corner of the screen I am at 30 FPS now I know that's something that you probably wouldn't do but just trying to just show you um, that this is working for me okay and I'm gonna go back and disable it oh I'll go back to 60 and then disable it so that's working for me here if I want to for some reason override my or overclock my switch as some will probably need it for a more demanding game you can go ahead and you can see in the top left corner that all of my um, overclocks that I can do on this switch have been uh, updated and that's pretty much it the reverse NX is if I needed to be um, if I'm docked and if I want to make it pretend that I'm in handheld mode, we can do that. This one. There you go. And change it to handheld mode. And this is where like if the Mario 60 FPS, that one has a mod and you would have to be in handheld mode in order to achieve the 60 FPS. And you would use reverse NX to change that. So there we go. Uh, so everything seems to be working just fine for me and probably not the best uh, example, but just wanted to show you that it is working. So that's pretty much it. I wish I can get the 240 <laughs> FPS on Cuphead, but there you go. So let me know if you try this out and it works for you because in my previous video i had all the links uh, that you would go and download and add everything one by one yourself so i hope that this video helps uh, those out that try it and uh, don't have any issues so let me know if it works for you let me know if it doesn't you can leave a comment down below and i'll try and help you out as best as i can but 
yeah, for the most part, seem to be okay. That being said, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.